What's up everybody, it's Boy Kirby here. Today I am playing a game called I Live Under Your House. Um, this is... <laughs> I don't know what the hell is going on. I think there's, D yeah, there's DLC, okay. But I'm going to be doing the main story and if you guys really want to see the DLC, let me know in the comments and by leaving a like on the video. And let's just get into it. What, what the fuck? What is this? I open my eyes and here I am, home again. It's such a wonderful feeling. Okay. What the fuck? What the hell? Okay. Um. As usual, no one. That's good. That's very good. I like being alone. Okay. This is the main hall. How nice it is here. Every time I come here, I feel joy and pride because I dug all these holes. I mean, I don't know which hole to go into first today. Uh, is this like an optional game that you can take multiple ways and multiple endings? Let's go with this one first. Ahead of me is my pebble space where I keep the different stones I find during my excavations. I like to look at them, to stroke them. What the fuck? Oh, how I like to stroke them. <laughs> Sometimes I even dream about stroking a stone and the feeling is so real. I can feel it is at the tip of my fingers. I love stones. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> stroke the stones. Yeah. Stroke them. Stroke the stones. <laughs> what the fuck? Let's go into this one. This is my sleeping place. This is where I usually sleep. Although I can sleep anywhere, I still prefer to sleep here. Okay. Are we going to go sleep? I'm so tired, but I can't sleep yet. Okay. That's fine. Uh, we go look at this. Every tunnel is different. For example, this this one is narrow, narrower than the others. Sometimes I think I might get stuck in it and then my heart starts beating harder. My whole body gets tense and I can't help it. I have to move slowly if I want to get out of it. I love this feeling. Jesus, a bit kinky lad. Wait, oh balls, wait, wait. I just... Look at the stones. Yeah. Oh! I found a rock sharp cut... I found a rock sharp enough to cut through someone's belly. Oh, that's great. That's nice, isn't it? Um, okay. Oh, shit. Um. Look at that. What beautiful orifices. There are no favorites here. All equally pleasing to me. That's why I sometimes squint my eyes and rush into the tunnel as if, as if it... As if at random. Okay, let's go into here again. Nothing, okay. Here? Anything? No? Oh, hello! Uh, she died when I was born, or so it seemed to me. Is that, is that Mama? I never knew my father. And maybe a creature like me has no father at all. For as long as I can remember, I've been alone all my life. At first, I just watched her body. Hoping maybe something else would crawl out of it and I would have a new relate relative. However, this did not happen. I'll talk to her body from time to time out of loneliness. Although I mooed and made different sounds rather than I spoke. I had to eat its various parts because I was hungry. I'm so grateful to her. If not for her sacrifice, I would have died. Over time, I began to notice that her body was uh, crusting over and the places I had been were getting scared. I realized that she was still alive, so I started eating her body more carefully, trying not to t take too big of a bite. What the fuck? Layer after layer of her body grew kind of a crust, eventually forming a cocoon through which I could no longer penetrate. May, she's no skin! I don't know how much time I had had passed since then, but I waited and waited long enough for something to happen, but nothing happened. It's a pity that she never saw what a beautiful creature I had become. How many tunnels I dug. Well, now I'm sure I'm all alone in the world. Great, I'm tired of worrying about her. <laughs> Your is the creature I came out of. I was worried that it would come out of a deck of cartoon and want to eat me or avenge all my bites, but apparently it just decided to die quietly. And my anxiety was gone. What the fuck? 
I'm ready to go outside, especially since he's waiting for me on the way. There is a spirit standing right at the exit, and every time I pass, he starts talking to me. I don't like to intercourse with him. Okay. Um. What am I doing? Am I tired? Oh! What the fuck? They're laughing at me. Every night when I try to sleep, they come to me to make fun of me. They laugh. They have so much fun when I cry. They watch during the day and wait for me to do something stupid, looking for opportunities to make fun of me so they can come and laugh at me at night. What the fuck? Sometimes they talk to me, they whisper things, they want me to go outside. <laughs> After a night of torture like this, I usually wake up tired and hungry, so I crawl outside in search of food. What the fuck? What a terrible noise, okay. What? Oh, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? It won't. It won't stop. What the hell? What's going on? Who's drilling? Who's drilling? I don't. I don't seem to have any other choice. I have to go outside and see what's going on. All right. What the fuck? There you are. I knew you'd show up soon. It's because of those noises, isn't it? Yep. I don't want to leave my home. Maybe it will uh, subside on its own. Nonsense. Maybe they came to take your home. Maybe they came for you. Who knows? Oh, I can press E to make it faster. Who knows what? what's making those noise, awful noises? You must come out. Okay, so I'm out. And then what? You know what's next. The same thing you always do. The same thing you do when you're hungry. What makes your breathing quicken and your whole body tingle. It's time to go outside again. As soon as I crawled out into the open air, a disgusting sight came into view. There were metal creatures everywhere, and a horrible looking structure stood before my eyes. I had no specific plan of action, but one thing was obvious to me. There is construction going on, and they are building right over my head, and something has to be done about it. There were too many people around, and I couldn't act out in the open. I had to wait for the right moment and started watching. You vile creatures will pay for disturbing my peace. Lad, what the fuck? Yeah, bees, bees, bees. What should I do with you? I have to be careful if they find me. It's all gone, but I can't do nothing either. My strength is enough to deal with only one of them. But maybe if you kill one, the hunger is getting stronger and stronger. No strength to hold back. Something has to be done. Um. Uh, I'm getting hungry. Oh, yum, y yum, 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 yummy bee. Uh, this is my skull room. After the first time I ate a human, I lay tired outside and de didn't even have the energy to crawl back home. The very first one I had was some guy sitting in the woods drinking beer and talking to himself. At first I didn't want to do anything to him. I was just interested in watching him. When he noticed me, he started laughing out loud and pointing his finger. Then he suddenly picked up his stick and started hitting me with it. When, I, when it was over, I lay there for a long time looking at his skull. Over time, I've ac accumulated so, so many skulls that sometimes I burrow deep inside this pile and gradually fall asleep. Wow. Um, worker skull. Another skull in my skull collection. I have absolutely no memory of how it happens. So it's like I'm in a wild ecstasy and then it's over. My stomach is full. My breathing is heavy and I want to sleep. Alright. Eventually the house was finished. Different people began to come and go from the house. The unbearable stomping was causing me to have anxiety attacks with every knock. What if they find me? What if it never ends and I have to move somewhere else? Where would I go? I don't have the energy to take a new tunnels. From time to time I had to crawl out to see if everything was okay. If they were looking for me, for some reason I had a distinct feeling that they had coming come to hunt me down. And one day, people came in and dragged me I dragged a huge number of boxes. A woman in a blue dress yelled at them and waved her hands. Then everyone left, but a woman stayed in the house. Time passed and no one else came to the house. It was just this woman. Well, she doesn't look like a threat, I thought. However, pretty quickly my life turned into a nightmare. 
pretty much my entire living area was right under this house. Every action she took, every step, every sneeze echoed through the depths of my sanctuary. Her life became part of my life. Gradually, I got to know her schedule. What she does, how she does it. I knew all her habits, the rhythm of her gained. I began to feel that my sleep was disturbed. I just couldn't sleep with something constantly pounding, muttering and shuffling all over my body. In a few hours when I did manage to sleep, those ghosts of the night would come to haunt me and make fun of me. Oh yes, how they really had a lot to laugh about. Thus my torture became a 24 hour routine. Jesus Christ. <sighs> I have to do something about it, even at the risk of being caught, at the risk of losing my home. Who am I kidding? I don't have a home anymore. She took it from me. I must get out and stop this nightmare. Chapter 1. Love. The thrill of excitement overwhelms me. I no longer have the strength to hold back and watch from the sidelines. It's time to find out who lives above me. Okay. Hello. I need to look around carefully before I act. Whoa. Whoa, I didn't realize there was this type of game. Okay. What the oh, hell? I thought it was just a point and click. Okay. Let's uh, look around. Hello? This is the first time I've ever been inside a human house. There is so much space, it makes me sick. The only thing worse than this is the outdoors. Okay. The hell is that noise? <laughs> um. Okay. I reckon I have to go that way, but I just want to have a look around. See what's going on. It's locked. Okay. Um. Oh. Ah! I know what it is. It's called a book. Once upon a time, it was. I was very hungry, and just at that moment, a little man sat down next to the entrance of my home. I remember he had a little. He had little hands, little feet, and he was like a puppet. That little man also had a bag with him. I remember being aware of all the dangers of this world at that time. So I climbed out of my hiding place with the interest and began to look at him. The little man didn't notice me right away, but when he did see me, his eyes widened, his mouth opened in that unimaginable way I made a horrible, disgusting sound. The sound was driving me crazy. I wanted to get closer to him, but he kept crawling farther and farther away from me. Eventually, the feeling came over me, and then all I remember was his head in my hands. His body was laying somewhere nearby. His bag had brought with him, it was slightly torn, and then I saw books scattered around. I don't know why they caught my eye, but I took them with me. Many pages were badly damaged and stained with blood. Some pages were missing altogether, but that didn't stop me. I began to study them, and it was thanks to these books that I was able to learn the language of these creatures and get some idea of the human world. I found new books over time, for example. Recently, I ate a couple of campers. I enjoy reading, but I have to remember to pick this book up when I'm all done. Okay. You psycho. Warner, no, I don't know. I'm not familiar with human life, but I once saw construction workers staring into a similar dark box. They stared so intently and sometimes shouted something and raised their hands in the air. Strange creatures. Must have been watching football or something. Um, these sick bastards are ripping out plants and putting them in containers. I find it difficult to understand the meaning of these preserved acts. Okay. No. Um, ooh. it's the shitter. Oh, what's? Oh. Ah, what a horrible, terrifying sound! I have to deal with that thing. It scares me. You didn't hear the toilet flush, right? No. Is she home? The lady home? I think she is. I think she's sleeping. Oh! <sighs> I remember people looking at box these boxes here. Or I wonder what's in them. Wanna find out? What's this? What's going on? Uh, hello. That's it. There she is, lying in front of me. All that's left to do is take the first step. 
But I don't dare. I... Something is wrong. My mood is not the same. I don't feel the same of rush, same rush of energy and unbearable of restraint as before. Well, maybe I should come back later. Apparently now is not the right time. Yeah, I should definitely keep an eye on her. Maybe it's a trap. Well, till next time, birdie. Why couldn't I kill her? And all the sounds she makes now don't seem disgusting to me. I would even say that I became interested in hearing what she was doing. There is water running down the pipes somewhere, and here she seems to be taking out the boxes. Huh, I wonder what she keeps in them after all. I think when I was li lying at her door, I felt something strange. A feeling I never had bef before towards another living creature. So I took the pile of skulls and wanted to take some of my best skull, my dearest one, or dearest, dearest, this dearest one, and take it to her, leave it under the door somewhere. What is happening to me? Mate, you are fucking weird. To be fair, it's a creature. Uh, you know what, let's have a bit more of a look. Maybe I missed something in the kitchen the first time around. Like the plants, you know, ew, disgusting, they take plants into pots. Okay, nothing about the bin. Um... So am I like literally just crawling around in her house? Ugh, it's weird. Did she put that there? I don't remember her being there. Is this locked, this door? Can I run? Do nothing? Oh, it's locked, okay. That's fine. Uh, must be like the front door that... Um... Can I... Still talk about it? No. Okay, that's fine. Oh. The pile of laundry, I could smell it as soon as I entered the room. A smell, a holds your breath. I've never smelled anything like it before. Maybe I should take something with me, just as a reminder? Sure. Um, that's fucking weird. I just got an achievement saying her clothes smell good. Oh, that's fucking weird. I decided to take one of her dresses with me. That is fucking weird. Is she in the shitter? She might be. Whoa, this is different. Um, newspapers. Um, right. Is there anything I can do? Like, can I get around? No, okay. Uh, okay. It's, but it's strange. Bed is empty. And apparently, she's not in the house either. Where could she have gone at this hour? I have to leave what I brought for her and hurry back to the window in case she comes back soon. Oh my. Oh my god! Okay. Uh, is she gonna come back? Go oh, to the window. To the window. Quick, quick, quick. To the window. Hope you enjoy my skull or something. I don't know. Come on, through the window. Oh, here you are, back again. But something has changed in you. Nothing has changed in me. Everything is the same as before. Is it so? I thought you liked being alone. It is! And I will always be alone. I don't need anyone by my side. Why did you hesitate when you had a chance to kill her? What are you hoping for? What do you think will happen when she sees you? The same thing that always happens. Shut up! Your mere appearance will cause her to vomit. You are different from her. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Or do you think she'll move here? Uh, maybe, but only if in pieces, right? Shut up, you vile spirit. I'll prove you wrong. I'll go back to her house right now and wait in her bedroom. And we'll go back to my place together. You understand. I told you, you've changed. Hey! Right. Ooh, let's get, let's get the wine. Let's get the wine. Bring it to her. Or not, okay. I'm just gonna be laying on her bed like, hey, what's up? Oh, it's gone. Maybe she likes the skull. She liked it. Maybe? Hello? I'm in her bedroom. This is 
This is weird as shit. Alright. A note addressing Merrick. Merrick, who is he? No tells him to remember to pick up the box from the nightstand that contains candles needed for... I don't understand. There's a lot of words. I don't know. Can I read it myself? <gasps> Mar Marie. Damn it, Merrick. We did it. Marie. Take it to the basement. Merrick. What the hell? Pay attention. It's still moving. Marie. Should we just dismember it right in the basement? Oh, she fucking kidnapped me. She knew I was here. God damn it. What body hurts terribly. What happened? I don't remember how I, how I got here at all. I read the note and then... Uh, it hurts. I can't remember anything. I have to go home. Did she take off my ankles? The bitch. And her boyfriend, Mark. You bastards. Oh, that's what was locked. Um, the front door is open. Chapter 2, Betrayal. What? What's this? Camp? What's going on? Oh! This is a tent of those pesky campers. They obviously shouldn't have set up camp near my place. Yeah, you fools. You fools. Marie and Mark. I'm gonna find these. What's this? Oh, a tree. What's going on? Why am I following this? What's that? A dress. Uh, lad. Her dress? What's it doing here? How? Okay, that is a. That is a fucking stiff dress. What's this one now? Uh, looks like a bag, maybe? What the hell is that? Oh, this backpack is remarkably similar to the one the little man had. I remember how, in some fit of rage and hunger, I killed him, and the books fell out of the exact same backpack. I took them. That's how I learned to understand the language of, the, of humans. What's going on here? Did I kill this guy's little brother? What am I doing? Where am I going? I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I don't know where I'm going. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Where am I going? 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 Oh fuck it! I'm going somewhere. Oh, I figured. Uh, there, 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 there. That was hard to see. Maybe I should have just assumed to go straight. Is that a pentagram? What is it? Salt? It wasn't here before. The body feels weak and sleepy, so I think I should lie down for a while, but I need to go first. Marie, did it work? Why is that thing still moving? Fuck! Something is wrong. Merrick, I told you we should have dismembered it. And at least we had a chance in the basement while it was passed out. Merrick, you, you know it wouldn't have helped anyways. It can only be killed through a ritual. That's what the book said. The whole body feels as if it w it is weightless. I can't move. I can barely look from side to side. What's going on here? That's her, the girl. I risk myself by getting out. Who is that with her? I don't remember him. Merrick. What an ugly thing it is. Do you know? Do you think it knows what's going on? Marie, who cares what that thing understands? Mark, he killed her father. Why doesn't it die? That is what worries me. Why doesn't it die is what worries me. Ugly? Why did she say such hurtful words? She didn't like that. I, what I brought her? And this is after all we've had? What a fool I was. I thought we were made for each other. It seemed to me that I knew her well. That maybe somewhere deep down her soul had guessed about my present and was waiting for me to come. Merrick, are you sure we haven't forgotten anything? Solomon's cell is holding it together so I don't see foam from its mouth or blue flames or anything like that. Murray, holy shit Merrick, you're asking me that? Merrick, well yes I'm asking you, you have the book. 
That's what I thought would happen someday. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe I should really die. Why should I live? She treats me like that. I feel something new again. As if thousands needle as if a thousand needles were tearing me from inside. Marie. Oh shit, Mark, I get it. We forgot. Don't Mark, don't tell me. Marie. Got the fucking candles, Mark. Fucking candles. I think my strength is coming back to me. Huh. I can move again. So that's how it so that's how it is. So she wants to get, get rid of me all this time. Well, no. Should have brought me a, a lot new sensations, feelings that I haven't experienced before. Now, after everything that happened, I'm so tired and I'm really hungry. I want to take you out to dinner. Oh, hurry, Mark. I think he's going to break out. Oh, it's your turn to come in my house. <laughs> Chapter 3 Revelation. Oh! I moved into Marie's house. You could say she invited me herself, huh? Now, now she and I talk to each other a lot. I also began to better understand why people put flowers in pots. However, I don't use flowers. I like other things to furnish my surroundings. Like bones! Oh well. There's a heart there, there's a fucking spine and a head there and a hand, so yeah. I think that's an intestine. I also removed that awful black box. Now instead, it's something that is pleasing to my eye. I think I can live here. Marie doesn't seem to mind either. I'm getting more and more used to open spaces. Marie and I will have to go down to my place one more time though. We are expecting children. What? I can't imagine how it happened myself, but the uh, larvae are already pretty big. They will need to be taken to my lair. After all, they are my children. They will be more comfortable there. By the way, the voices have stopped and I don't hear that awful laughter anymore. I think na I now know what the word happiness means. And yet, sometimes I feel sad. Thank you for playing ending three. Okay. It's a pretty short game. Um. I'm gonna try to see if I can get the other two endings. Alright. So, I'm back here. I'm gonna spare. See what happens. Oh, wait. This tree doesn't have the dress. Oh, hang on. I wonder if that'll change anything. I also noticed that strafing is faster to do, so I'm doing that. Why am I here? Oh! Oh, hang on. This is different. Snapped her neck and all that. Um, even the voices have gone silent are, and are no, no longer laughing at me. The spirits no longer speaks to me too. I only dream of only of darkness. Ever since the day I killed Marie, I've been lying next to the cocoon of my creator. I don't do nothing. I just lie there and stare into the darkness. I look at my body and it... I look at my body and it too is gradually crusted over. No one ever moved into Marie's house so I could enjoy the silence, but I don't need it anymore. The cross is about to cover my eyes and then I'm asleep. For I don't know how long, maybe even forever. From everything that's happened to me, I understood only one thing. When I was at her bedside for the first time, when I saw her bare heel dangling from the bed, I should have eaten her at that moment. Ending one. Okay, so what I just did was I didn't eat him and I didn't take the dress. So what happens if I was to eat him and take the not take the dress? Oh yes, this is a oh this is the second ending. In the end, Marie wishes another skull in my skull collection. Then on, the voices never ceased. They began to follow me during the day. Their laughter never ended, but it didn't annoy me. I finally found the meaning of my existence and began to laugh with these bizarre creatures of the night. I began to enjoy waiting for new tenants, playing with them. Eventually, of course, my tunnels were discovered, but by this time I'd already managed to move to another dwelling. Especially since my collection has grown so much, I needed more space. I also read in the newspaper that, after my tunnels were discovered, we found the remains of my creator there. They said they'd never seen anything like this in their lives. 
As for Marie, I can hardly find her skull among these remains. No. And not that I would like to, but I'm grateful to, to her. After her betrayal, I realized my place in the world. Now I work non-stop. When I get tired, I sit down and laugh non-stop while looking at my triumphant, triumphant collection. Thank you for playing ending two. Okay. That is, um... I live under your house. If you want to see DLC, let me know in the comments and leave a like in the video. Subscribe as well. That would be greatly appreciated. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.